Good afternoon, everyone. This is Robin Carter. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of Flower Mound, Texas. And today I am here to share my third video with the April 2023 paper pumpkin kit named All the Little Things. So I'm trying to get the glare out of it. If you are new to my channel, I would really appreciate if you would hit the subscribe button below. And if you've missed my first two alternates, they are in my YouTube channel under videos. You can see this month as well as several other months of alternatives that I do with the paper pumpkin kit. Now, um, before I begin, let's get to some business. So I'm really looking forward to the May paper pumpkin kit. And this was in our April box as a preview of what to expect. Now, the color images it says here will be coming soon. And I think that doesn't happen until April 2nd. Right there it tells me. And that's also when our new catalog goes live. So if you are new to Paper Pumpkin and would like to subscribe and do not have a demonstrator, I will have a link to how to subscribe through me in the description box below. If you already have a demonstrator, support him or her in subscribing through them. I think this is going to be a great kit, so I'm really looking forward to it. But before we get to this kit, I wanted to share my third set of alternatives. And they are here. A little more business I'd like to share. If you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber of mine, you will receive this little envelope uh, as well as an insert to where you can store your Paper Pumpkin stamp sets. I store these in a little tub by month. And I also use Evernote to do uh, tag things like sympathy and, and whatever sentiments I want to tag in that system and it helps me find stamp sets as well as paper pumpkin kits. Now when we get a larger paper uh, pumpkin stamp set, like the bonus stamp was last year, it fits in this larger envelope, of which I will make one for my subscribers. Now if you want to know where you can get these, uh, go to my blog and I have a little favorite things, uh, items that I've put on there. This is a small, uh, for small stamp sets and this one's for large. So you can check that out as well. Okay, I think that's all the business. So let's get to my alternates. Now this first one, I hadn't used the big flower in my alternate and I was having a real hard time. So I basically just did as the kit said. Shocking, I know, but um, I wanted to use this. I thought it was pretty as it was. Now I did not add the single little flower on top of this, which they suggest. I am using that in an alternate, which I will show you. But, um, so we can just put that together real quick. I have a blank card base. Now this is not the one that came in the kit. I like to use thicker cardstock for my card bases. So I use the thick white for my card base. Here is the uh, card front piece that was included in your kit. Now they put their blue on this side and the white over here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now the directions for this are inside, but I kind of just go <laughs> do my own thing and I can kind of figure out what's going on. I did change out the sentiment. I did not use the sympathy. I took this one off one of my other alternates that I didn't think that color went with and put that there. So we have our stamp that came in the kit is the little dots and then what I like to do before I put the dots down is I'm going to put my flower kind of where I want it okay and then I'm going to ink up my spot now this is using my full size shaded spruce ink pad a spot came in our kit but I wanted to use my bigger pad all right let's just put that there and then let's put one down in the corner. And then I'm gonna put one, let's see. I'm gonna make sure I get further down on this one. So I'm just gonna put this one here. Okay, let me get my little chamois and clean this off. Okay, so that is all the stamping except the sentiment for this card. So 
So I'm just going to grab my Tombow multi-purpose glue that I have in one of the fine tip glue bottles. Now this is also one of my favorite things. Um, I will have a link to that on my favorite things on my blog. As well as these envelopes that I put my kit components in um, when I'm putting cards together. It helps things not get lost. I do, <laughs> do still lose things a lot. If you've seen my videos, you know that. Especially when I'm making these videos, they tend to disappear. All right, so I'm going to use also my tea ruler. That's also one of my favorite things. And um, I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want it side to side. Since I have liquid glue, I'm going to go ahead and set it down. And then to make sure it's straight, I'm going to use this tea ruler on my card base. And if it wasn't straight, looks like I did pretty good. I could scoot it, uh, slide it to where it is straight. But that seems to be straight. I just got lucky that time. Okay, and then for the big flower. Now, you know me, I love dimensionals. So I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of dimensionals to the back of this. I probably could have done that already. Um, at least put the dimensionals on there. Let me grab my goodies here. Now with the big dimensionals, if you've seen my videos, you know what I do to kind of conserve is I cut them in half. Now, even though I cut them in half, I still use plenty of them, but it's a half piece rather than a full piece and it tends to hold quite well. So I need to cut some more in half. And you know you can use every piece, even this outside edge that the dimensionals come in. Let me just put some around here. I don't want that to sink. Let's see. I'm going to put one more right in the middle so it doesn't sink. Or maybe two. One there. And one there. Okay. Let's take all these backings off. Now you can use your take your pick tool. I have pretty good natural nails that just grab them quite nicely. So I just do it this way. It's faster for me. Okay, now on this one, I did lower it a little bit. You can see there that that, that leaf. And I think that looks fine. For one, it, it gives me more room for the sentiment. All right, so that's down. And then I'm going to not do the sentiment on this video. You can use whatever sentiment you want. This label did come in the kit as well as the little uh, coral piece there. So if you like this card like this, you can go ahead and finish it. But since I really didn't do an alternate, let's move on to the alternates. Put this back up and I'll add my sentiment later. Okay. Now, probably what you've all, the reason why you tuned into this video. So I told you that I kept the little flower. Use the loud Velcro down there. And put these back in here so I don't lose it. Okay. So here is my alternate for this card. Now, one of my favorite things that is retiring, there are so many of my favorite dies retiring, is these split card textures. And when I look today, they are still available uh, through the last chance section. And there are two different dies here. Um, I've used this one for this card. And I thought on my alternate, I would use the other one, the one that I make with you. So how I got this piece was from the envelopes. Now, let me see if I can find my kit. I do just a fine sliver. Excuse me, I had to get it out from under my computer. So I cut just a fine sliver off each side. I'm getting an envelope. Okay. I think I even show this in my unboxing. So if you're unsure how to trim open your envelopes, um, I believe I show you there. But I take just a fine sliver off each side here, and then it opens up. 
Okay, and then I cut the front piece to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Okay, this piece here, and once it's open, you can easily do that. And then you're left with this piece and this back piece here. But um, I have some cards I'm going to show you that I did that, you know, aren't my favorite, but at least I use those pieces. I'm going to show you those after we do this card. All right, so now when I, before I use this die, I attached a piece of adhesive sheet to this section right here because it's going to be very hard to glue, get adhesive on these strips and hold them down. So I highly recommend you use adhesive sheets with that. Looks like I didn't trim the side long enough. Let me come over here to my trimmer and trim that. It should be four and one eighth. Know if that got it or I or I made my card wrong, one or the other. Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna just go with that. So I'm gonna remove the backing to this adhesive sheet to reveal the sticky uh, part, and then I'm gonna be real careful because there's not liquid glue, no wiggle room. I'm gonna hope that I get it straight. Okay, that looks good. Now I am going to add some adhesive to this part that did not get adhesive, that I didn't use a full sheet to cover it. If you would like to use a full sheet so you don't have to do this part, then you go right ahead. All right, so I always kind of mush my liquid glue around so it doesn't leave lumps and bumps. Let me close this shaded spruce so I do not get anything in it and ruin my card. Okay, so we have this flower left that we didn't do use on the other one. And I think this is the flower up. It's kind of weird with the um, leaves down here. I thought about cutting them off, but I thought I would just leave it. And then to give a little more interest to this in this area, well, I shouldn't have closed that up. I need my shaded spruce after all. So I kind of put where I want the flower to go. And then I'm going to ink up my little dots. And I do like this side where it's not quite a line. I think you can see that down here is kind of a line to go up in the corner. So I'm going to lift my flower and put those dots there. I'm not going to set that down yet. And then I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Okay. So that gives a little more interest to that side of the card that doesn't have a lot of interest in it. While that's drying, I'm going to put my dimensionals on the back of the flower. <coughs> and there comes the tickle in my throat when I do all this gabbing for you on this video. All right, so let's add some dimensionals around. Now, I think this is a regular set that you can buy in the online store. I just kind of use whichever ones I have open and have started using. All right, let's say that's good. I find these backings all over my house. I think they stick to my socks or clothes and find them in my closet or something. Oops. Okay, now you want to use your best judgment so that this doesn't hang off. And you can turn your flower a little bit if you like. I think I'm going to do that, not have it necessarily straight up and down. And then I added a sentiment. Now this sentiment, excuse me, was not in our paper pumpkin kit, but feel free to use one if that is the only kit you have. But I'll show you which set I used for that. So this is the Something Fancy stamp set, and it is also available right now until the new catalog goes live as a bundle. And I know um, if you've seen my videos before, you know I love uh, label dies. And so this one that I think coordinates with it is the all that. Or no. 
Okay, I think it's still called something fancy, but I've used the all that dies because I thought that thank you showed up fine on that. And then just rather than doing it in blue or the green, I gave it a little more color by doing it in Calypso Coral. So I have that here. And I have my full size ink pad here. And let me show you. So I'm really sad that the stamp of Majig is going out. Um, not the stamp of Majig. The stamp of Radis is going out. But I have in my stash from long before stamp of Radis and all that. It's called the stamp of Majig. So if you've missed out on the stamp of Radis and um, they are sold out, then this is an option for you. So what you do is you put this in the corner of your stamp of Majig. You then uh, ink it up, stamp it on the imaging sheet, okay, and then you can line it up on your label where you want to. Now, this one um, is not a full sheet, so I just have to make sure it doesn't move when I lift this sheet. And then I can ink, and I do still kind of hover over to make sure it's kind of going to go. <laughs> That it didn't move and then there's our sentiment so that is an option for you if you do not have a stamp apparatus is to look for the stamp imaging now usually you would have a full sheet of paper and then when you go put your thing over it would kind of cover to hold it down but the label did not and i think it worked just fine if you're really concerned about it moving you could put some temporary adhesive down on your table to hold it still. All right, let me clean that. So as usual, I want to put this on dimensionals as well. And this. So with this flower, you can make as many, uh, you can make three of these and you can pick your favorite pattern if you have the split card dies. Okay, so which one is your favorite? Do you like the little lines or the little pattern over here? I like them both equally well, so I don't really have a favorite. Now, I didn't include the gems, but there were some gems, that uh, nice gems that came in our kit. These are also available in a bigger pack through the online store. So if you don't have a demonstrator, um, if you, and if you wanna purchase any of these products, I'd appreciate you support me and use this hostess code um, to place your orders. And for any order of $50 or more, you will receive a uh, thank you gift from me. So there is my current hostess code. Here is my first alternate that uses the flowers. So I think um, with this video, it completes using my supplies. That is my kitty over there <coughs> pawing on something. But let me show you some other cards that I made. Uh, this first one is just with the stamp set and some additional supplies. So we had this cute little flower stamp. I don't know if that shows. I can show it to you on the stamp set. We had this cute little flower in our stamp set. So what I did is I took Calypso Coral and um, that name has left me, Petal Pink, yes. <laughs> And I just went around and stamped some flowers, leaving roof room for a leaf. Now, the leaf I used for that is from the online exclusive set called Irresistible Blooms, which I used uh, these products in the uh, first alternates that I did. So I thought I would use the same set in case it was a set that interested you. You could look through all your paper pumpkin um, stamp sets if you've been a subscriber for a while and I guarantee you there's probably a leaf in there somewhere. So I just use a mask. I cut one flower up and used it as a mask and so I just covered the flower and then would stamp the leaf over it. And then I used my uh, scallop contour dies for that and then a white label that equal measurements there and did some more with uh, silver rhinestones in the middle of those. 
So it shows you how um, things you can make still using your stamp set, even after all your supplies are gone. So how do you like that? And that's shaded spruce cardstock. I don't think I said that. Okay, and then I had all these envelope fronts and backs left. So I created this card. I was having a real hard time coming up with something. Um, I tried stamping the blue background and I kind of didn't like it. So I just went with a blank white that was embossed with the cane weave embossing folder. I used a circle punch um, that I had were a die and cut it out of this. And then this one I cut out of this. Okay, to make this card. And I uh, did a layer of balmy blue cardstock that would coordinate. And then I have my sentiment here with some ribbon, more flowers that I fussy cut. And because this ribbon had gold in it, I used some gold rhinestones that I had in my stash. So uh, those are things you can do if you cut up, once you cut up on your envelopes to make those other alternates this pretty front here. So anyway, that is it for my kit, uh, for the April kit this month. I will be making, uh, finishing up the PDF and sending it to all my subscribers, um, the directions for those. Now, I'm not gonna include these two. They're pretty uh, simple <laughs> to do, but I will include all the other alternates that I've done. So I guess I can get them all back out. These are ones that I've made with just um, extra supplies. These two I made with the flower. I have one more flower that I'll finish it like this. And then, let's see. And then, of course, I made the one pretty much like the kit said um, so that I can start, uh, finish all these and be ready when my May paper pumpkin kit comes out. So thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Leave me a comment below. And if you are new to my channel and subscribe, I would really like you to leave me a comment that you did so. Again, if you've missed any of my previous uh, paper pumpkin alternates, uh, click on my channel and then click on videos and there's all there from as soon as I started. I can't remember when I started making alternate videos, but it's been a while now. So until uh, my next video, thanks for joining me. I hope this gave you some inspiration to finish up your kit. Until the next time, have a great day.